Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the SpaceX Starship launch, the test launch, second test launch we have for Starship, and what happened with the price of Dogecoin following it. We're going to get into all of that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. And yes, we were alive late Friday night, and we were talking about Dogecoin hitting this uh, the support line at 8.4 cents, and it looked like it was going to hold it pretty well. Overnight, we had a little dip. It was recovering. But then this morning, Dogecoin price dropped following this, but I mean, this is just, this is just so cool. What, what is happening here with SpaceX Starship? Congratulations to Elon. And no, I'm not just saying this as an Elon fan board, but watching this incredible liftoff, it's inspiring to me. And yes, these are test launches, meaning that they are gathering data and it's not supposed to be a hundred percent. It's just, it's a, it's a test. And it says that right at the bottom. It says Starship right there. Right there. That's what this is. And this is just absolutely amazing what we have here. Absolutely amazing. And they lost, they lost communication with uh, with Starship once it was in space. It had done its separation. It looked great. And there was there was something that happened with the community. They're going to figure it out. That's why they do test launches. But the price of Dogecoin dropped. Now, it wasn't a crash. I, I get that. But it did drop. We were back up over 8.4 cents. Again, was looking at support overnight. And then this dip. And it's... It, I mean, I look at that and I just say, hey, it's a buying opportunity, right? It's a buying opportunity for Dogecoin back below eight cents. To me, that's what that's what I look at this because there's so many good things happening in cryptocurrency, so many great things uh, that are coming up. And to be to have an opportunity to buy more, I think is a great thing to regardless of what else is going on i mean look at bitcoin here so 36.6 holding strong anticipation of a bitcoin spot etfs i mean it's not going to come till january but nobody's selling nobody's selling this so what happened with so what happened with dogecoin well as soon as as soon as that happened guess guess, guess what else happened somebody started shorting Dogecoin. That's right. Somebody opened up this huge short position on Dogecoin. Here. Huge short position was opened up. And they closed it once Dogecoin dropped. The short position was actually opened earlier. Um, maybe somebody anticipated there was going to be this drop. And so this huge short position was open. But as soon as Dogecoin dropped, they closed their short position. Somebody made a lot of money here, shorting Doge with this. That's that's what I read into this. And, uh, but overall, when we look at the Doge BTC trading pair, let me zoom out here to the four hour chart here. And you'll see that we are still above my prediction of this of this rising uh price of doge versus bitcoin even despite the drop this morning doge is still doing better against bitcoin since october 25th when i made my prediction that that was going to be the bottom of the doge btc pair that it was going to be uh, then increasing in its value compared to bitcoin and that is still true we're still above my line here so we're going to continue to track this as trading goes forward but this is just again this is anticipation for big things that are going to be happening through uh the end of the year of course right around christmas time we do have dogecoin to the moon uh and the vulcan rocket that's going to be exciting and then january there's the doge one mission which is spacex's uh doge mission that is going to be exciting and bitcoin spot etfs is that going to happen on january 10th all of that is is building up and so 
this kind of selling that we had here, again, zoomed out, yeah, it doesn't look so bad. It looks like a retracement from, from this big gain that we had here uh, from, from last Tuesday of Dogecoin trading up. And here we were tracking, right? Higher lows, higher highs, but now a little normal trading, you would expect this kind of reaction here, but not when everything else is still moving upwards. Now, Bitcoin did have a little fall here on uh, Wednesday into Thursday, where Doge's was just uh, kind of a instant drop and then recovery back up. So Doge was trading better again against Bitcoin. And a lot of that was the news of this uh, Dogecoin to the moon thing that helped Doge here. So again, different cryptos are going to trade differently uh, compared to each other. But this was looking like Doge was just going to continue moving up. So we have a dip here. So with this dip, what do you do with it, right? Is it a buying opportunity for you? Uh, I'm certainly looking at, at that. Of course, I, I bought down over here at 749. That was my last Dogecoin that I bought uh, down here. Uh, wasn't quite ready to pick any up uh, this morning with, with this. I, can't, I, 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 I don't get the, uh, the rationale here for um, the news media you know, calling it a failure. Uh, there's a lot of uh, very negative sentiment against Elon Musk. I mean, people just wishing for him to fail where Starship here is, is actually, it's actually doing very well on, on what they're, and what they're accomplishing and what they're trying to do here. So uh, that negative sentiment against Elon is just, it's just going to continue and that's it. But here with Doge, we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity here where, where Doge can go. If I go out to the weekly chart here on Dogecoin and we zoom out, we can see where Dogecoin is. And I'm, I'm sorry, I've got a lot of marks here on the, on the chart here. I've been doing a lot of, uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, analysis here uh, <laughs> over the years, actually. But where Dogecoin, well, I mean, this is the, this yellow line is 35 cents. That is my that is my uh, target for for uh, the first part of the bull run, and then Doge will just continue on above that. I firmly believe, and that's what we're looking for. So right now, with Doge down here, this is this is an opportunity. Now, is Doge going to be able to to come back down here around six cents? I don't think it is right now. I think there's too much anticipation of these things that are coming that we're not going to see that low of a price. I mean, that could change if Bitcoin all of a sudden decided that it was going to drop back down, you know, to 20K or, or something lower. I, I don't think that. I think there's, I mean, certainly at a minimum, there's a very solid support here at 25. But that would be like some black swan event, I think, that would be sort of outside of just the normal trading. Uh, so, so, so Bitcoin up in the 30s, uh, looking very strong. Uh, and Doge, Doge has, Doge has a long ways to go uh, to get back up there. But I'm confident it will. So let me know what you think about SpaceX, Starship, and the test launch and this odd relationship of, of like the price of Dogecoin dropping because of uh, the Starship test launch. Hey, give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.